Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some amazing social media posts using Adobe Spark. So if I open up my web browser, I'm already logged into my Adobe Spark account and uh, you can just go to spark.adobe.com and you can sign up there as well, I believe. And here you can see some examples of some social media posts. Really the ones that you see here are actually for Facebook thumbnails. So these are little thumbnails that I generated Sometimes you you know you lose a bit of creative creativity and you want to just do something quite quick and turn it around quite fast So I believe this tool is a very good tool to do that. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign when we click on the plus sign um, Adobe is going to give you all these different options, right? So you've got loads of social media stuff like here like Facebook covers You've got thumbnails Twitter posts, you know teaser videos stuff like this you've got invitations slideshows uh, you've got loads of different things. There's quite a lot of different categories that you can go through um, and have a look on here. So I'll leave you to go and have a little experiment and see which ones are listed here. But we'll have a look at something like, um, let's do something like a, a Twitter post, right? So let's go ahead and click see more. When I click see more, it's going to come up with all of these different Twitter posts that we can work with. So something like, um, let's pick one that looks quite interesting so maybe something like um let's see what looks good i kind of like this one with the light bulb right so let's click on that one and we'll click on create from so this looks like it's going to be a header graphic right for the uh the top of the twitter page so if i go to my twitter account it probably goes on the top up here somewhere so let's try it out let's test it so you can see like this sort of size it's like a similar sort of logic so why don't we um, experiment with that and see how it works so what I'll do is go ahead and click on uh, edit profile here and I'm about to change the photo here so we can go over to this software and we can start clicking on the elements so let's just see click here and say website design and we'll click done and now we say website design you can resize that if you stretch it out can get it onto one line you can just reposition it so like website design here and then um, let's say uh, I'm celebrating 15 years this year literally I've been in business for 15 years believe it or not so we're celebrating 15 years let's write that here it's quite an important message and then find out more maybe we'll just do www.dcpweb.co.uk take them to my website will be a good thing so that's it literally you've created that post uh, you can experiment with it more you can there's a lot of, quite a few other things we can do but let's just say that this was just a basic post that we wanted to create uh, all we have to do now is um, click on let's see where is it you can name your post here right if we click back on projects it's going to save this one so let's save it let's click on here and we'll download this one it's going to generate the download file and then let's just open up this folder let's just drag it in here and it's called my post let's just call it twitter header and then we can go over to twitter we can click on the post here let's go to here click on twitter header open it uh, you, it's no point in zooming in and that because it's set to the right size already we can click apply and click save and now we've got that new Twitter header on there, right? It's kind of covered over here a little bit, but if we go to my profile, let's see. Um, it's kind of changed Twitter a bit, right? It wasn't like this before, but let's see. I guess that's, that's how the profile shows on Twitter. They've changed the interface quite a bit. It wasn't like that. Normally, this was a lot bigger across the top, right, before. So maybe, um, let's see. that's the way it is for now but on my phone it shows like across the top here so maybe we would adjusted that text there a little bit and resize things and move them slightly so that it fits in a bit better but overall it's a nice quick way to get a, a new Twitter header you can do one every couple of days and change it and make it a bit more creative right something a bit different let's go back to here and let's click on the plus sign and let's check one other thing so let's go to something like a Facebook post right something like you do quite often Let's click see more 
maybe we'll do a little bit more with this one so you've got loads of different options here again there's so many different options to work from there's like you know thousands and thousands of different types of posts that you can generate with just a simple mouse click um, so let's find something that looks pretty cool let's go for let's say let's see Something like that looks pretty cool, but I reckon we will go for, let's say this one here. So here we can see never say never. So maybe we do amazing, let's do all in caps, right? So I might write something like amazing web designers and then this background picture, you can double click on it and then you get loads of free different, like loads of images that are themed around this. This is like surfing, right? So it's like a surfing image. Then all of these images are coming from um, uh, Unsplash and I think uh, Pixabay. So they're all free to use. So you can just go ahead and click on one of the pictures and it will just change it to that particular image. If you wait a few seconds, it will get like the high res version showing, right? So you can um, add a border as well. So you can add a little border around this to make it a bit more creative. And then you can do things like have two different images side by side. You've got all these different panel layouts, right? So you can have like loads of different pictures side by side. If you're just doing something like a little visual gallery, then maybe this is like a really nice quick way to generate that. I'm going to click here. Um, you can click on design here and then you've got loads of different versions. So it will go and find some other versions that you can work with, like in terms of the font styles. Sometimes they don't always fit out so nicely, but quite quite often you'll get something that looks pretty cool with just a few mouse clicks, then you get something that looks quite nice, right? Very, very simple. Within a few mouse clicks, you're gonna get something a bit more different. And to do this in Photoshop, it's not you know difficult by any means, or to do it in GIMP, it's not difficult, but it takes time and energy. So if you can do these things very, very quickly, turn them around fast and get them posted, you can spend more time on doing other things in your business that you need to get done um, so for me it's quite a powerful tool we can double click on this picture maybe we'll search for something like web uh, design and hit enter and you're going to get loads of things that are web related so maybe like this picture here let's click it let's close this and you'll get something that's more inclined or more has more synergy with your business rather than having something surfing and it says amazing website designers you got something completely wrong there, right? Something completely different. Um, if we click outside of the canvas, we can click on the add button here and add some more text. And we might just put our website address there, which will be helpful. And we can click done. And then we'll get our website address there. You may want to place that like down here. And as you drag it across, it will kind of uh, position it. You'll see that purple line, so you can position it correctly. And then you can go ahead and click on... Uh, uh, let's see shape here not shape effects and this is something I use quite often so I use like this cutout style something like this I quite quite like that sort of design and then you can go and click on color and maybe click on black and then you have this nice like black cut and you can read the text behind it so I think there's a nice little social media post there you can resize this as well so you can drag it backwards and forwards and get it quite right it's just as just as you need you can click on the background here and I believe you can go to design uh, actually let's see layout I think it is yeah under layout and you can drag and create a little border here as well you just need to resize things a little bit more um, so you need to probably drag this up a little bit so it's not so low something like this and I want to put a black border so I believe um, let's see Uh, we should be able to change the background some way. I haven't used this for a little while, but I'm sure there's a way uh, to change the background. It's currently blue. I think you've got to click on it. You have to click on it and then select the color, right? So you click on the background, then select the color. And you can have like this black border. Something like this is pretty cool. So we can you can name the project. So let's just call this... Um, Let's give it a sensible name. Let's call it Facebook Post. So 
something like this and maybe you're doing it for a client so you give it another name just go ahead and click on projects here when you click on projects it will take you back to your main screen where you see all of your projects and then this one will be named quickly you see all the rest of them we just call like my post my post um wasn't really thinking about that at the time but here you can click on edit it again you can click here and duplicate it and make a second version of it um but what i will do is download it so let's click download and we'll drag this to the side for the second let's drag this into here and we created that twitter one just now so maybe let's try and share this rather than share it on facebook just as a quick example let's try and share it as a tweet so let's click here to tweet and we should actually drag and drop this picture in here and then we can say uh visit write some text like that maybe you put some hashes in there some hashtags will always be a good thing something like this and then click tweet so I could have shared it on my um, Facebook page but there's no reason why I can't share it on Twitter as well so we can have it as a tweet and you can go and take that and share that on your Facebook page as well so it's time for you to experiment I think this header could have been a bit better um in terms of its overlapping you can see it's overlapping on the logo there so we could go ahead and go back to the tool and adjust that maybe we do that now right if we're going to do something let's do it right um so we can see here it's overlapping a little bit the word years really so what we might do is just drag this to around here somewhere something like that and i think it will be away from this circle now so i think that's okay i don't mind that position click back on projects let's click back on um, where is it this one here we'll click here download it so we've got another version of it now we can delete this one this one's kind of old and wasn't quite right so we drag this new one into here let's go back to Twitter let's do edit add a picture we'll add the new one and we'll apply it let's save it and now it's there position there right and it's much better now you can read it maybe this could have been a bit a lot a lot bigger as well this text here so you can easily go back in and just go and edit this one sometimes you've got to go backwards and forwards a bit when you're doing work it's not always perfect first time you may want to click on that and just make it a bit more bigger just to um, make it a bit more easier to read and if we go back here we can see probably at the word the letter e that's where our cutoff point is so we can see on here the letter E that means we can drag this all the way up to around the letter where this letter E is something like this that's a lot bigger now let's click back on projects and we'll click here let's download it one more time and I think we'll be about done let's drag that in here we can delete the old one go back to Twitter click on edit profile let's click here upload this version apply it save it and now it's much easier to read that right you can read that you can clear see this much much clearer so that was quite a quick way to improve that header and I can easily go back to um, this Adobe spark click on the plus sign and then go to the social um, social media stuff click on Twitter this is Twitter post but I'm pretty sure there's other ones here. There's like grow your business stuff. There's teach. There's a uh... yeah. There's loads of stuff in here. It's too much to go through today, but I may make some other tutorial with something maybe more in detail where you can use multiple images and we we'll do something. Um, you can start from scratch here as well. Got graphics here, Twitter and Facebook. So you can categorize quite well. Um, so it's quite interesting. So I'll leave you to go and experiment with that. We'll minimize this and minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial showing you how to use Adobe Spark to create some amazing social media posts. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP Web tutorial.